Hey everybody, how are you? Just fragging some mushrooms today, and I uh, thought I'd, you know, have you guys tag along for the adventure. Um, so I got a few different types of uh, shrooms here. They're all the Redactus variety, but you know, you got your WWC bounce, you know, right here. A god spawn, and this is like called a gumdrop or something. This one doesn't really have the lineage, but it's really neat. Anyways. Um, I'm going to show you what you guys need to do to uh, frag uh, bounces, OG bounces, or dactus, or whatever. So right, right here I have my uh, trusty uh, knife. Uh, you can use a fresh razor blade, but this knife keeps a really great edge, so uh, I'm using that. And then after that, you need um, some handy dandy fragging uh, uh, bone cutters, okay? So what I like to do is to poke the mouth in the center to uh, get the um, guts out so I can have a good visual uh, of the mouth um, when I'm slicing um, the mushroom. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to poke it a little bit, piss it off. Just poking it with a knife. Alright. Now... It's not doing it quite yet, but in about 20 seconds or so, uh, it'll start expelling some of its guts. Um, and then when you're taking it out of the water uh, to slice it, you're going to have a better visualization, especially with this OG. Uh, you can get lost in the bubbles, so getting it to spit out its guts is pretty important when you're trying to keep track of the mouth because you should include a piece of the mouth. Um, in every frag uh, that you make of the mushroom. I usually only cut my mushrooms in half, but some people cut them in quarters. So uh, uh, it doesn't look like this guy really wants to puke out his guts right now, but I am going to slice him anyways. So I'm gonna do him in one fell swoop. There's not gonna be any sawing action. It's just gonna be one slice all the way through, one swoop. And then after that, I'm gonna use the bone cutters to cut the rock. So I'm cutting it right now, starting on the lateral side, working my way medial, pressing down really hard, making sure that I get it all the way. Now this guy is now cut in half. You see that cut right there? Right through the middle. Now I'm going to take my bone cutters. Okay. And there you go. One, two. Alrighty. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna do the rest of the video. It's too long um, with all the rest of them. But I'll, I'll check back in a minute. All right, guys. The fragging of the of the bounce mushrooms have been finished. And actually, I also fragged a uh, another wall hammer um, that I'm gonna be showing uh, in another video. Uh, anyway, so after I do this, I like to put uh, one gallon of fresh tank water into a uh, plastic container and then I put 10 drops of iodine and I let them all sit there for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. They've been in that um, in there um, almost already. One thing that I do want to say about uh, this wall hammer is that once I'm done soaking it in this iodine, you can see this fresh uh, cut edge right here. I'm going to cauterize that entire surface or cover that entire surface with super glue. Uh, super glue actually has some antibiotic uh, uh, properties to it, um, just like iodine does when we're using it in, in, in this sense. We use it in the operating room as well um, to uh, decontaminate surfaces that we're, that we're surgically uh, operating on. Um, so in this instance, we're using it as an antibiotic, but I'm also going to be cauterizing um, the edges of this uh, wall hammer as well. Alright guys, so it's been a day here um, since fragging this wall hammer coral here. Um, as you can see, I cauterized that entire uh, incision site with a ton of super glue on that side. Um, hopefully that will keep uh, away any um, um, infections uh, that are, might be possible. Um, there's my mother over there, she's doing great. Um, in another video that I did yesterday, um, I also did some fragging of these bounce mushrooms and Rodactus over here. Um, these are all looking really good too, and you know, don't be discouraged if your little guy ends up looking like that for a couple days. It's okay, he'll perk right back up. 
Um, it's only been 24 hours and this guy's almost recirculized his entire self, so I'm really happy with that one. Um, and these other ones, you know, they'll take a few days. So, uh, a few days to kind of look like they're healing, looking good. Uh, so with that, I'm just going to, you know, show off a little bit of this guy. He's looking really good. I'm really happy with him. going to give him, uh, you know, a couple months, you know, in here before I think about uh, selling him. My birds are, are chirping. Hey, guys, that's enough. I'm trying to relax over here. All right. Uh, so, let's enjoy the tank for just a minute. I'm going to upload this video so you guys can gain the knowledge. It's a really cool tenuous right there that I've been growing. A little bit of the guts on here too. We gotta get into this sometime. Just really haven't had the the time um, to really get into it or know what you guys want to see uh, and learn about down here. So why don't you guys make a comment on this video and see what you want to learn about down in my sump area. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.